so cute. Thank you. Let's look at your outfit. Just in the middle of making some eggs. Holly usually does this part, but I'm learning how to not be scared of the stove. You should hold the handle when you stir it for safety. Why are you holding it with such a wife? I know how this works. You've got it all figured out. Oh, I have to record all my errors. It's not an error. I did really well up until the very end. Holly said she didn't want any more eggs, and I said, no, just one more little piece. And I put it, and it fell over the counter, and then I tried to pick it up, and I burnt my fingers. Right. So well, this is why I'm not a chef. Anyone can be a chef. Anyone can be, but not everybody wants to be. And whoever said that quote, I don't think knew who I was. Your cooking, the taste is always absolutely fire. Why is it so dark? It looks so bad. But your presentation. Is the, is what needs to be worked on. And I'm still a piece of garbage. Why are they black? That looks it's like so you dropped it from a tall height. <laughs> We're just about to work out here. Look at our new baby. Well, hello. We're gonna do some rearranging right now, all the stuffs in the basement. I think we're gonna try and move it to a separate room, but for now, this is here. But we're definitely gonna move this, eh? Because when we do our stretches, we're hitting the wall and the TV. Plus, if we ever slip off the treadmill, bang into the wall. Oop, right into the wall. Oopsie. A little bit of a danger fire, not fire hazard, but danger hazard. Just a life so. hazard. Really. I think we're gonna move that into the green room, and then we'll figure out the rest of the space. But yeah, I'm gonna go on the bike. I'm only gonna do a, a chilled out day today because I'm so sore from yesterday and need to kind of just get some movement in. Paige is training for a marathon, literally. I am in the very beginning of it though. Like, I think it's like a 16 week program, but I am starting it. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure if I can handle it, but I'm gonna do my best. Anyway, we'll check in with you after. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. Come here, stinky pants. <laughs> I hope you stinky for long. I'm gonna get a shower. Did you do a good workout? Yeah, like, like you're working hard. I did. I worked hard, and now I'm gonna play hard. Ooh, are you joining me in the shower? Yeah, I will. Are you? Yeah, I'll join you. Is it because I'm looking so sexy recently with all my work now? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll go get it started. Bye. I'll meet you up there. Okay. Hurry up. <laughs> Actually, just between us, her body's not that great. Um, and the reason I'm gonna join her is because her new shampoo and conditioner smell so, so good. So, uh, shout out to today's sponsor, Function of Beauty. You're making this happen, baby. Coming, sweetie! Function of Beauty is the world leader in customizable beauty for hair, skin, and body care products made for you and only you. We've been using the shampoo and conditioner for about a month now, and it has made such a difference. First step is to take the online quiz and build your hair profile. I have wavy medium hair and a dry scalp. Lucky me. Next step is to pick your hair goals. Here were a couple of mine. Next is the fun part. Pick your fragrance and the strength. I went with nude peach and strong. It seems to be working. Ba -ba boom You can even pick the color of each and then voila, it gets shipped right to your door and all your hair needs are taken care of in one magical bottle. Function of Beauty has really helped me keep my curly ass hair in check and has made straightening much easier. It's dermatologist tested, no parabens or sulfates, and of course, 100% vegan and cruelty free. What's not to love? If you guys are interested, you can get 20% off your first 16 ounce custom set when you click the link in our description and subscribe. Thanks, Function of Beauty. Thanks, Function of Beauty. We are now gonna get ready and then maybe go on a little walk. I love it. Let's do it. I got energy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's going for a dainty walk on a dainty minus 25 day. It's very cold out, but me and Luke started a Apple Watch competition last night at midnight, and he's currently beating me by a lot, so uh, I've already worked out once today, uh, no big deal, but I'm gonna go do another workout and we're gonna walk really, really long. Well. I'm getting dragged into this mess, even though I'm also in the competition and also worked out today. Thank you. Now I'm getting dragged and I hate being cold. Hey, so do I. I don't love it. I just want to win. Then why are you forcing us to go? We could just do laps around the house. Look, it's sunny. It's sunny. The sun is shining. We're gonna go for a nice little walk. You, I mean, give me my boots. This is what you wanted. Healthy lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Feel 
beautiful day, actually. Very cold, but beautiful. Say you're lying, Paige. What did we end on, though? We're having a good day today, aren't we? What kind of day are you having, Paige? A great day. Two thumbs up. We just got in uh, from our walk. We were stopped in our driveway because a lady who lives a few doors down was like, oh my God, we're neighbors. And we're like, oh, hi. Nice to meet you because we have not, not seen this lady before. No, never. So anyway, we're chatting and stuff and she just brings up like, oh, like, what do you guys do? But we're like, oh, just like kind of social media, social media marketing, like just stuff like that. We were talking about that we're in England. So we kind of got in like, oh, you know, that's how we were able to travel for so long because we can work anywhere. We've got a laptop and she goes, Oh, so is it like YouTube and stuff? We're like, yeah, like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, like all that kind of stuff. And she's like in her, I want to say late 50s, late 60s, 50s early yeah. 60s. And there's nothing like wrong with that. But I was surprised that her very first thing when we said social media, social media yeah. marketing was that she went straight to YouTube. Yeah. It seemed a little bit like weird to me that she yeah. went directly in there. And then we we're like, yeah, kind of that stuff. And then she's like, I just heard a, on the news the other day that these YouTubers are making a lot of money and all this stuff. And then she was like talking about the house and all this. It was so weird. Yeah. And we, cause we were like, yeah, like we read that article too. Yeah. Cause Paige did. It was uh, Jake Paul. Logan and, Paul. Yes. Like the uh, richest YouTubers ever. So we're like, yeah, like we read that too. And she goes, yeah, it's a lot of money to be made on YouTube. <laughs> We're, we're like, like, well, if you fight Mike Tyson, there is. Yeah. <laughs> and all this stuff. It was weird. She just kept going on she and on about YouTube and then kept coming back to YouTube yeah. at us. Like, what are you going to do next? Here's so we're like, thing. whoa. We haven't told anybody. No, no There's one. been three neighbors now that have asked us what we do for a living and every single time social media marketing that's it i think one of them's found out and they're There's talking now people, yeah. they're because, all subscribed watching because day. this woman was like oh i heard from your other neighbor that you were in england for a month and you had a really hard time getting back i'm like that's not true yeah <laughs> like, no, no we didn't <laughs> so i think they're gossiping about us in the community. We're the talk of the town, Holly. We are. Holly, Everyone's but... lived here for years. So yes. They all know each other really well. So we're kind of like the newbies here and I think the they're block. trying to figure us out type yeah. of things. They're probably doing daily watch parties <laughs> for us, I think. So that's fine. Life of an influencer, <laughs> am I right, ladies? <laughs> She was super nice though. Like she's other than that, she was really nice, but she was just, we knew she, she was knew fishing. Something. She knew yeah. yeah, she was. Today's very late lunch slash very early dinner. We haven't decided it's yet. It's Linner. 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 Or, or Dunch. <laughs> dunch. <laughs> what you doing there? I peeled off all my nails. <laughs> Did you get the full suspense? Let me look in here. Hey, where are you? Like little petals. Yeah. I was, um, I got most of them in yes. one. Very You did very well, but I will say it's pretty gross that it's all over your sweater and leggings. A over my sweater. You need like a little vacuum. What's that then? Is that just food? <laughs> Blow them into the wind. Make a wish. It is new. <laughs> That's what it takes to be a woman. <laughs> I don't know. Hi everybody, it's currently 7 something p.m. and here I am walking around the house. Luke is still beating me, Holly's brother Luke is still beating me by a couple hundred points or so. So I got a lot of walking to do. He's five hours ahead so he should be sleeping so by the time he wakes up he's gonna think he's still in a nightmare because I'm gonna bust his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's uh, thing was set a little lower but now that she's bumped it up. Oh sh Okay. Oh, she's winning. That's the point. So, yeah. all right. Fair enough. You got it. I will beat you though this week. You won't. We're gonna calculate this and let you guys know. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just saw what I saw and I had to let them see as well. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, it's a Monday and it's a snow day. I'm gonna show you outside. I showed you a little bit while Holly was sleeping peacefully, but it is fallen to the ground and it's still snowing. It's hard to see out there, but there's supposed to be a ton of snow coming down today. We thought we would go out this morning and shovel before the next snowfall comes. <laughs> we both thought that together. We, we hey, there's a reason there's two shovels. It's for you to use both of them. <laughs> I've been shoveling, bitch. I have shoveled. You've never shoveled without me. Well, it is true. Holly has shoveled one time without me. I'm not saying you one didn't do it, but the did. way that you word it makes it seem like you have been shoveling on the daily. One single shovel without me while I mop the floors. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that is teamwork. My arms are killing me because I did a workout yesterday, an arm workout for the first time in 87 years. So my arms are very sore trying to keep this phone up. Update on the competition with Luke. I won last night. What? Well, that was mini vlog stuff. Oh, I asked her about that. No, you didn't. Yeah, I asked you yesterday. What did you ask? I asked if that was for Patreon or if that was for YouTube. What did I You said YouTube. Why don't you just explain that you're in a competition with Luke? Okay. Update here. It's in the mini vlogs, but it's not on YouTube. I am in a competition with Luke with our Apple Watches right now. It began yesterday. It was an intense and immense day. Holly's in that competition as well. And actually, Holly won out of the day, but she ain't gonna win on the week, that's for sure. Luke lost yesterday, and I did quite well. I averaged out right the middle. So um, we're gonna work hard all week. So it's second place then, you're in second place. By one single point, but yes, I am in second. Uh, but you watch. I'm gonna get out there and shovel today and uh, gain a lot of points. Don't be putting on that play. Play is crazy. Play is what needs to be done. There's nothing called shovel. I have to use play and shoveling is quite calorie effective, I would say. I'm gonna go make a tea now. Do you want a tea? Teas, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> tell me you're spoiled without telling me you're spoiled. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna Why don't you tease. tell them how spoiled you are? <laughs> Give me a kiss, you're my fiance. <laughs> So we've decided we're going to go shovel first and then have a tea because if we do it the other way around It's just gonna be really messed up and we're not gonna want to leave. I turned the heat up and also Ta-da! We have a fireplace now! This fireplace is from my parents for Holly and I for Christmas. Right now it's got purple But it can do like a bunch of different colors. Oh and also watch ready. Hey Google turn the light on All right, turning the TV light on. The future is now. Hi. Oh, hi, babe. Are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> no, you. Look at that. No, isn't that that little bruise that you sometimes get on your eye? No, that's just constant makeup. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes more so sense. I haven't been wiping it off. <laughs> we are ready to go. Let's get some coats and mitts and boots do and you know let's where do my, this. My shoveling gloves off. Did you leave them outside? No. Like in the garage, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> the side face. Oh. I'm done. <laughs> okay, three seconds after that, what is out here in the garage? Holly's shoveling gloves. What do you have to say? You're so cute, I can't even be mad. Oh my God, there's so much snow. <gasps> oh, are you okay? Okay, Holly just told me to step outside. I haven't been out yet, but I'm going out through the garage. She said, bring my phone. Oh. <laughs> I think our neighbor did our sidewalk. Really? Oh, that's so nice. Holy sh Okay, we gotta go do this. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys. See it off the ground from the from the garage door. Wow! And this is just the beginning. You're doing great, babe. All right, so it's been about 25 to 30 minutes now. We are completely exhausted, but there's still so much snow. Like our cars are still covered. We haven't stopped. Holly's still working there. We've got all this cleared off, but still have the bottom to do. I'm gonna show you guys just how deep this is out here. This is just so much about like pathways. These are already so high. Roughly cleared off this. Still have all this to do. How you doing, Holly? Oh so yeah, that's today. Look at my car. Look at this. It is like what? It's a Honda Civic. It looks like a Tesla. It's been what, probably two hours since we shoveled. We couldn't film because we were so grumpy. We were in such a bad mood. We were in awful moods after we shoveled. I know, um, we were getting so short with each other too. And I it was know. just like, we couldn't, we knew we just needed a little bit of time. And then I had a low, so I was low on top of shoveling. Uh-uh. I have no medical excuse. No. I was just enough foul mood. We didn't talk to each other when we came in. No, we just we kind were just of like, went we separate knew, ways. We, <laughs> we knew we needed some time apart just to relax. So we both sat on the couch and started watching something. And then once we ate a snack 
and now we're having our tea, we feel much better. Yeah. I don't know if we've told you guys this, maybe it was on a live stream. We've started watching Below Deck quite religiously. Oh yeah. So this is kind of the setup right now. And we're just cozy, cozy. Got our boys of bottles, our teas, our little heating pad over there. Yeah. The fire's going. Yeah, we're it's just cute. relaxing. And yeah, we are just pooped from yeah. shoveling. I burned 500 calories before I had a, a bite to eat or a sip to drink. That's pretty amazing. Feels nice now that I'm in, but it was brutal. And also the worst part of all of this is if you look back outside again right now, it looks like we haven't done anything because <laughs> no. it's still snowing, but it did make our job easier for later. So I'm trying to like think of that. Yes. Positive vibes only. What was your best and worst moment? Shoveling. My worst moment was you getting snappy with me. Um, also, my worst moment was also shoveling really, really hard and pushing with all my might and I, it, the shovel getting stuck in the crack and bouncing back into my stomach and knocking the window to me and making me go <laughs> out loud for everybody several times in a row. And that was probably my worst. Yeah. My favorite time was when we came back inside. My best time was when we were done. Yeah. And my worst time is a mix between winding myself because yes. I did that several times too. Yeah. When you put snow on the bit that I had already cleared. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is when you brushed the car off when you saw me standing there and it went all into my socks. Uh, that was particularly fun. Yeah. But I'm just happy that we're happy now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love you. Hey, do you have grease marks on your bum? where you've obviously had something on your hand and then wiped it on your ass. Ew, these are clean. <laughs> I only put these on like two hours ago. Well, why are you wiping your greasy hands on your butt? I probably put hand cream on. That's not hand cream, that's oil. Well, then I touched your hair, sweetie. Turn down the butt! I'm sorry, don't tell mom. That's a weird <laughs> joke that you have to really work to let you go. You say it too, you <laughs> say it too. <laughs> You're so hard. Well, we have 10 pounders to begin, Ooh. and we'll work our way up. I used to be able to do 20s back in the day. I went from 15s to 20s. That was all I could do. Well, um, it's 20 totes, so that's gonna count for something. Not really when you're doing it individually. I'm trying to help you here. Sometimes I try and give Paige like a boost, right? And she's like, don't make excuses. I hate excuses. I love you and I appreciate you always supporting me. Sometimes it's just a little like, like a little love tap, you know, to be like, do you know what? You're doing it. You're not too far from where you want to be. And you're like, oh, I but am far, and I want to be far, and I want to hate myself until I'm there. I do better. Tell me I'm wrong. I do better with you telling me, Paige, you're being shitty than Paige. But you're not being your shitty. Best. And but you are doing your best. I don't feel like you it. You can't be shitty and do your best. I don't have time for this. This is what this is for. <laughs> Anyway, those aggressive noises that you're hearing. Do you guys remember this? This was our Valentine's present to each other um, at the condo a long time ago. We're making some coffee. Not too far yonder. It's probably the coffee machine our temptations, but we're gonna stick with the coffee for now. <laughs> so this is a puzzle that we did the other night. It was really hard. It looks hard and it was. We've got an even harder one to go. I don't know if we'll get into that oh. today. I think we should start. Can I show them it? Yeah. That's just too difficult. This is going to be very, very, very hard. We've done a puzzle by Cobble Hill before, which was a teacup puzzle. And Holly and I, I would say we are puzzle experts at this point. We love a good puzzle. We can do it in our sleep. It's no problem. This brand, Thank you, Zara, we just kind of I just know you're gonna be annoyed. Thank you. It. This brand made a teacup one, like similar setup, hardest puzzle we've ever done. I have no doubt this will be very similar in difficulty, so. We'll try it, we'll get it started tonight. A thousand pieces. Hi. Hello. Please pardon my hair right now, I'm uh, pooped. Stop. You look lovely. I know, I'm pooped. Oh, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> Update, we did not do the martini glass puzzle, but we did get the work done that we said we'd get done, so. We got a lot of work done, a lot yeah, of we did. emails we answered. Did. So we're going to bed feeling very accomplished. Paige got another 
run in. I did. I went a little Ow. wild today. My ankles and my legs are like locking up and I probably should have taken it a little easier, but I just remembered Here something. What? Do you remember when we had a business call earlier today yeah. that I took the lead on? Do you remember what you exchanged me for taking the lead on it? Yeah. What was it? Tell them. It was a massage, a back massage. Mm -hmm. I feel like I led a little bit of the conversation, <laughs> but not enough to warrant no. a no. That's okay. A rejection. I, I will find somebody no. else. No. Who out there? I'll do it. I'm just to tired. massage me just with tired. oils. No. Because I have a fiance that would rather make an excuse than touch my naked body. I didn't know you were gonna be nude. You can't massage my back with clothes on. And your pants be off too. <laughs> I'm taking out the I'm doing a I'm doing no. You guys leave me your Asian <laughs> interests no, down I'm below I'll and I'll you. heart my next girlfriend. Um, or boyfriend at this point, anyone's would be. Now don't be sick. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, I'll give you a massage. Oh. Do you want your back or your feet? Both. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, did we tell them the sad news? No. So after work, we watched a few episodes of The Office and um, played around with Stella the Stress Bowl. That's a new name that's made up on this podcast. Can we, can we zoom out a little bit? It's really close to me. Thanks. You guys know, Stress Bowl, one of our favorite events of our life. You see that weird puffy white stuff? <laughs> don't, don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> she popped. We don't really know how, but her little seal broke and I'm quite upset. So it's open and um, every time we throw it now, little white things come out of it and it's getting all over the bed. Um, anywhere else we, <laughs> we tend to throw it. But we're gonna have to go buy a new one because this is the best $4 we've ever spent in our life. Thank you, Walmart. It's 99 Was it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait a while, but yeah, it's a sad day. Everybody, let's take a moment of silence for Stella the Ball. Here we are. Right, that's now that that's over, we will see you at the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Good night.